Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, so I need to inventory some things uh, that I've made and I want to show you guys what I did. But at the same time, I kind of want to give you an update as to what's going on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move and talk at the same time. Um, so as a lot of you might know, uh, my cat is very, very sick and um, she's very old. She's 14 years old. And, um, my husband just had to take her back to the vet again, um, because she's not eating. And so we gave her appetite stimulants and that's not working. So, um, she's been on those for about three days. And like I said, they're not working. So we're taking her back to the vet and we don't know what's going to happen. Um, he's at the vet right now. He literally just left. Uh, today is Thursday. Uh, you guys will see this tomorrow morning at, on Friday. I don't know if I'm going to record, uh, anymore tonight. Um, I don't know. You'll know Saturday if I record it again tonight. Um, I might try to record as much as I can while, you know, while he's at the vet, um, before we get any kind of news one way or another. Uh, I don't, I don't know really, um, what's going to happen. Um, so I've just been kind of mindlessly doing nothing really that important. <laughs> um, I have made a bunch of spring clusters. Um, and now I'm just, I've already got the listing up. Um, it's actually for two of these clusters as well as, um, each cluster has one of these things on there, the glass bead clusters. Um, and it's for that. Uh, but it's basically, I just wanted to turn the camera on and kind of talk to you guys while I'm doing this because I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to record again. Um, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, contrary to my family's belief, I am not psychic. <laughs> my husband has this philosophy that I am psychic because I have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have very, very good intuition. And he has made it up in his mind that I am psychic, but alas, I am not. Therefore, I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I mean, whatever happens, happens, and we just don't know yet. So, like I said, I wanted to give you guys an update as to what was happening, what was going on. Um, and if I don't record and you guys don't get a video on Saturday, you at least know why. And if you do get a video on Saturday, but you don't get one on Sunday, well, like I said, at least you know why. Um, I'm not trying to like abandon you guys. I just, um, Bella is, uh, she's one of our kids, man. She's like, she's been with us since she was eight weeks old. Uh, we adopted her from the um, Humane Society out in Hawaii. Like we've had her for a very long time. Um, she was born in Hawaii. She moved to New York with us. Uh, so she's lived in New York. She moved to Washington State with us. So she lived in Washington as well. Um, and now she's in South Carolina. So she made full circle with us. Um, so she's lived everywhere we've lived. She's lived. Even though we got her um, technically in our first duty station or second, really, because his first was here because this is where he went to school. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just using glue dots to put the clusters on two little envelope thingies. Um, but anyway... Yeah, so she made full circle. She's been everywhere we've been, except for Alabama. She's not been to Alabama. Um, that's where that's where we're actually from. A lot of people ask, you know, well, where are you from? That's a really hard question when you're in the military. Because to me, I am from where my family is. And my family is currently in South Carolina. Um, but... Um, I mean, that's not necessarily where we're from. That's just where we're at right now. Um, but anyway, 
Uh, I just, I hope everything turns out okay with Miss Bella. Uh, like I said, Wayne just left, so he'll be gone for a minute. Uh, it's 1018 right now, and um, the, her doctor's appointment is at 1020. So I'm just kind of mindlessly on here talking and keeping my mind busy. Uh, I've been blaring music all morning, <laughs> um, just kind of not really putting my mind to anything in particular. I uh, packaged up some orders this morning, and then I sat down here and started working on my listings. Um, so, yeah, that is what I've been doing this morning to kind of keep my mind busy. So, I mean, what are you going to do? There's not a whole lot we can do, you know? I mean, we're doing literally everything that we can. So, like I said, I hope it all turns out all right. That is a very large dog. <laughs> so, I recently changed my room again. <laughs> Um, so you guys might see this little tower of shelving behind me. That was not always there. I got that because I got a new sewing machine and, um, I wanted the sewing machine to be closer to me so I could actually use it more instead of having it just, you know, an afterthought. Cause my last sewing machine was kind of an afterthought, but it was kind of a pain in the tush as well because it would constantly break. It's not that it would break. It would just be like, I don't know how to explain it. Like the bobbin would constantly get like, um, caught up or something. And, uh, it would like eat my projects. I'm like, Ew. so I finally broke down and got a new one. Which I'm really grateful for because this thing is super awesome. Ah, look at my nail. Um, hopefully I can get some videos up for you guys and, you know, not really skip a beat with the whole recording thing. And I know you guys are all really, really cool and not like at all. Where's my video? <laughs> I mean, none of you are like that. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. Um... So, yeah, like I said, hopefully I can get whitey. Uh, hopefully I can get a couple of videos up for you guys and recorded ahead of time so we can, you know, take what's happening in stride and not be stressed about anything else. Um, oh, that is crooked. Let's go that way. There we go. Uh, I forgot to put the fact that you guys are going to get little envelopes in each. Huh. I forgot about that. Well, so I put on the listing that, you know, you'd get the cluster, of course, um, but you'd also get the, the glass bead cluster as well. So you're basically getting um, four clusters. Um, you're getting two of the doily clusters here, the spring, the spring doily clusters is what I'm calling them. Um, and I'm going to run out of envelopes. So anyway, I'm calling them the spring doily clusters. And um, you'll also get two of the, oh, what's they're called, the, the bead the bead clusters. I wanted to call them bead charms, but charms are very specific as to like, like a, what they are. So I didn't really want to do that, but they are little clusters. They're just little bead clusters like that. So, and I really like these envelopes. They're actually kind of cool. They're self sealing. So you can seal them and then open them up and seal them and open them up. And they're pretty cool. Um, but yeah, my oldest daughter, we figured she'd want to go with dad, but she did not want to go. I don't know if she just didn't want to go or if she just didn't want to get out of bed. Cause this is very early for her. Um, she normally doesn't get 
like get up and walk around out of bed until like after noon. <laughs> so oh, let me grab a couple more envelopes real quick. Anyway, she doesn't get up and like move around until after um, noon. So and I just got more envelopes here. But but yeah, this is this is some of my process. I know some people have asked me in the past, like, how do you package your orders? This isn't really packaging my orders per se. This is um, getting them ready to um this is getting ready to um package what am i trying to say hold on i just got a text from my husband uh he needs to know whether or not bella ate or drank um because like i said he's at the doctor's office So, you guys are kind of keeping me company until he gets back. <laughs> but anyway, this isn't exactly packaging orders. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm getting them ready to be inventoried, if you will. And what I mean by that is um, they're going to be packaged together. And then they're going to be sold as sets. Um, this particular listing is for random sets. So, um, like you'll get, like I would split these two up because they're kind of similar. So I would split them up and I would put like this one with this one and then back them like this and then stick them in the little, you know, whatevs. Um, they can go into little bags like I have. Um, little bags like this they can go into or um, they could go into all kinds of different things really um, go in there. they might work with this one actually um, yeah I think that one would be good so let's just do that And then that's it. And then these would actually go into another package. Um, like whenever you get an order from me, you get all of your items packaged up nice and pretty. Most of them are in little bags like this. Um, think. And that's it. But anyway, like I said, I'm just kind of letting you guys know what's up. I know several of you have asked to um, be kept informed about Miss Bella, and I very much appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Um, she means a lot to me. So anyway, um, but yeah, so like I said, I'm just wasting time basically <laughs> waiting um but i'm not sure really what's gonna happen but yeah anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go off of the camera i basically did what i came on here to do which was to inform you guys what was happening what was going on um and to show you kind of like what i've been doing very aimlessly over the last couple days um so Wish me luck. Um, you know, keep her in your thoughts. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, by the time you guys see this, I will have known what's happening. And I will try to keep you guys informed. Um, but like I said, she is very sick. She does have cancer. She has pancreatitis. Um, and she's also very dehydrated. And, um, oh, and she has jaundice. <laughs> so she's got a, she's got a kind of a list of stuff that's like, working against her right now. Um, but we're trying, we're trying to, you know, we're just trying to make her better. Um, but we're not trying to make her suffer. You know what I mean? So 
I don't know what's going to happen. My phone's right here, which is why I keep looking down at it. Um, but, um, but yeah, so anyway, I wanted to let you guys know what was going on. And, um, if you don't see me for a couple of days, I didn't abandon you. <laughs> Just kind of trying to cope with everything. So, uh, anyway, you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully your day is going a lot better than mine is. <laughs> Um, and I will see you guys all in the next video. I don't know when that's going to be. So thank you guys all for your thoughts and well wishes. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.